Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm playing Kart Craft in VR. A little bit about me, I race karts at a club level in my town. Uh, I've been racing for about a year, so I've got good experience with time trials as well as racing. Uh, I've just done a few laps and I just needed to turn the force feed back up, but without further ado, let's hop in and see how we go. Off the bat, just it really feels like I'm in a go-kart. Sounds like it, having my two tires right there. Obviously, but fuel tank in the middle, side pod, just uh, looks realistic, looks a lot like a go-kart. One thing I've noticed is it's very easy to lose the back end, so I might have to have a look at the setup. Very squirrely on the back end, but we'll see how we go, coming into the hairpin. Yeah, very back end loose, so I'm going to box this lap, see if I can make some changes to the, uh, to the rear and see if that will help with it, but... So far the sound, the visuals, the turning, like the front tyres, the steering wheel feels like I'm turning a go-kart, so oh, as it goes off, but I must say I really do like the physics engine, it feels realistic, except for the back end, which I'll see if I can fix. So another thing I've noticed is it's only 180 degrees of rotation, so once you go past 90 degrees on either side, you lose all force feedback, so you really got to learn to keep it within this 180, but um... It does feel quite realistic so far. I'm just going to see if I can change the setup a bit. I'm just going to change the uh, the hub offset by about 0.5. Try to get it the same on each side. And uh, I'm not sure if that will help, but we'll just see how we go. I feel like that would help as I'm widening the back, but... Here we are about to go. I'm going to try and push for a hot lap, but we'll just see on our out lap how the cart feels. Oh yeah, the back end does feel more stable, it's not losing as fast, so... Oh, as I say, that is a bit slippy, but it is a little bit better. I feel like with this sim you would need a lot of practice to get consistent, but if you want to try getting into go-karting and want to practice during COVID, I'd recommend it so far. I'll push for a hot lap though and see how I go. Alrighty, just coming up to the final corners. The tyres are a bit loud, I've also noticed just for minimal turning, but... Here we, whoa! Almost rolled it! <laughs> well, uh, it's not the start of the lap I was looking for, but we'll see if we can get another one going. So I'm gonna aim for 57 this lap for my final flyer in time trials. Not the worst first sector, should be up a little bit on our 59 second. 3.8 tenths, that's not too bad. Uh, great exit out of there using all the curb. See how we go for this hairpin running up. Oh, a little bit of back end sliding, that's not too good for the tyres all the time, but coming into the fire chicanes, clip a little bit of curb, mount all the exit, fast right hander. Just clipping the curbies and all the exit into the two sweeping S's. Trying to go, oh, no, I've spun. Oh, I'm gonna lose a lot of time there, but I feel like it's still a pretty smooth lap. On the exit, head down for the arrow. Let's try and get that 57. Ah, oh, so close. Well, that was very fun doing some testing, but I reckon it's time to hop into a race. Here we are, guys. 15 opponents, five lap shootout. The crowd is waiting for a good race, and it's lights out. Away we go. Running three wide off the bat into the first corner. Almost getting cut off by number one. They've made contact. I've been pushed up onto the curb. Let's see how we go. Whoa, big crash. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I made a few positions. I hope he's okay. Uh, <laughs> oh god. Okay. Coming into the corner. Get a good run. Bumping the 13. And we've been spun. That's not good. Might have to restart and see how we can go. But that's a crazy start right there. Alright, here we are for the second attempt of the race. Flights out and away we go, gonna move straight to the inside, try and squeeze in front of the number one, but I don't think we have the speed for it. I've been squeezed through wide, but oh absolute chaos. They've, sp they've flipped ahead. Just work our way through the pack. Got all the grip on the outside that we need to make a move. Give room, but it's running three wide in that corner won't work. 
just missing that curb. Using the exit, he got a better run than the 96 and the 50, but got nowhere to go with it. Go to the inside, try to make a move. Oh, he's holding up the curb. That's unfortunate, but definitely made a few positions, which is a great start. Hope none dies me down the inside, but we need to catch that number 50 immediately. Coming into my favourite two corners, a bit loose on the back end, but using all the curb into my favourite right-hander. Using all the curb, bit loose, but this is where I really gain on them into the S's, but I've run a bit wide, so I'm not going to this lap. Feels like forever ago I started the, the, the race with all the stuff that's happened, but run a bit wide, very sloppy lap. I think we're about to get past, but the best lap is a 101. I know that we can do better than that, so it's time to push, push, push. Make up for that first sloppy lap. It is very hard, like I'd say it's realistic to go-karts, it's not like any other racing experience. You're really on the, on the edge with your vehicle the whole time, and you're five feet off the ground. Breaking in. Closed up to the number 17 quite well actually, but for some reason I just want to pass that number 50, I don't know why. So, that's my goal, I want to try to get a top 5, but we'll see how we go, we've only got one and a half laps to go, so... See if we can't make some moves. Feel like we can gain on the number 17 into here. I wasn't wrong. And braking. Send a move down the inside. Hold the curb. Oh, no. He's still got me. Maybe I can get the switch over. Not quite yet, but I might be able to slipstream him on the front straight. Time to put the head down for the aerodynamics. 58 as we cross the line. One minute lap. Almost. We can probably get the fastest lap. We just need to push hard. I can hear them right up behind this. It's pretty scary. Number 17's got a bad run, see if I can't send it down the inside. Last lap move, now we just need to get the number 50, but he's still got me. He's really pushing me wide. Need to get past his number 17. He's really holding the inside line, I can hear them all around me. And they are all around me, I've overshot that a little bit, but... Made the move stick, I want to get to this number 50, see what I can do. Hopefully they don't send it down the inside, they haven't, which is nice, but... We've got about a half a lap to get something done here. It's not looking too promising. Clip the curb, clip the other curb, try to run all the exit, make a great, oh that was good, see if we can cut close to the inside, see if we can at least set the fastest lap, pull a Lando at Austria, but don't think we're going to get into the top five at all. 50, 50 seconds we cross the line, and oh it's a one minute, not quite, through the confetti as we finish in P8. I must say, for a, for a P16 start, finishing in P8, I'm quite happy with. Here's the podium. Go-karts inside of each other as you do, but that was a fantastic race. I really enjoyed that. Well, I must say, that was a fantastic experience. You probably can't tell by under the headset, but I'm pretty sure my face is red because that was insane. But I must say, it was really realistic how the car felt, just the adrenaline, the speed, the sense of speed as well as all the setup options, that really impressed me. I'm not the greatest with setups, but you could really feel one with the cart changing the setup how you like. You just sat down in an invisible chair, but anyway. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. I'd highly recommend it. And if you look online, you can get full go-kart sim rigs and everything. This really is a good sim to improve your karting skill. And I'd highly recommend it. This is Kartcraft. More information down below. And before I do go, I want to say thank you to Vive for sending me this headset. I really appreciate it, and I've loved playing this game. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.